Are you ready to live your dream? Motivation, inspiration, and passion. That's what it takes to make dreams come true. Welcome to the Nadia Sahari Show. Our guests will share important tips, insights, and knowledge to help you fulfill your dreams of success. Here's your host, actress, author, entrepreneur, Nadia Sahari. Hey, hey. Hello, everyone. This is Nadia Sahari, your host with the Nadia Sahari Show. So glad to be here. It's a wonderful time in life to breathe and be grateful for being alive today. Considering all the negativity going on, let's be positive. Everything's going to be all right. So my show is about motivation, inspiration, and education. And from time to time, I have different kinds of guests, some I know personally, and Some I never met, but for the most part, I've met a lot of them. I've known a lot of them, and it's just wonderful to have my friends on to express their dreams and how they achieve their dreams. So without further ado, I want to tell you about my guest today. She is a speaker, an author, a teacher, a music producer, I met her in Hollywood. She's a wonderful human being. She's beautiful, talented. She has communication skills that are incredible. And I want to introduce you to Pepper J. Welcome to the Nadia Sahari Show, Pepper. Nadia, it is such a pleasure to speak with you again. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. I'm, I know it's been a while since I was on your show. <laughs> And here Several we are. years. Several yes, we years. Are. Yes, and here we are. So, so let's talk about your adventures. You have done some great things. Now, you used to have a show. Do you still have your actors studio show? Actors Reporter is an online magazine, and it now is just goes to public access television uh-huh. and internet. Okay. Uh, before we were producing. 15 TV shows, you know me in my heyday when I was doing it full time. Yes. yes, yes, I sure do. So now you are a speaker and you're an author and you teach music production or you're a teacher and you also are a music producer. Right. So I, I produce music. Uh-huh. I've been doing that about 30 years mm-hmm. and I'm a teacher. But when I teach, I teach performance skills. I call them dynamic performance skills. Uh We teach singers, musicians, lawyers, teachers, public speakers, anyone in front of an audience. Okay, good deal. So have you written any books? Have you published any books? Sure. Well, the book that's available now on Amazon is called Dynamic Song Performance. And it really breaks down performance skills I am surprised how many people found it helpful that we're not interested in singing performance, but just in communication. And I'm so pleased at the response. Dynamic song performance. Yes, thank you for asking. You're welcome. That's great. Well, we'll remind people how they can get it here before the show ends. So, Pepper J., you describe yourself as the most beautiful Hardworking, retired, middle-aged music producer, speaker, panelist, author, actress, and you are SAG-AFTRA. Woo, okay. So now you live on a ranch. Yes, well, I've, uh, I've worn several hats, as yes. it might say. And when my father passed at 97 several years ago, I realized I really didn't have anyone in Los Angeles that I was taking care of. And There's a certain freedom in that, Mm -hmm. you know, and I didn't know what to do. And I thought, what do I want to do? And I am so happy here. I live in a town, not even a city. It's a town of Pahrump, Mm -hmm. P-A-H-R-U-M-P. You know the place in Nevada. I do. I do. We're about an hour west of Vegas. We have five acres and we just sort of create it for sharing. And it's delightful. Surrounded by mountains. I'm looking at a mountain right now. It has snow on it. It's beautiful. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. So now when you were a child, 
What was your influence at that time to get you to be all these talents that you are, the speaker, the author, the teacher, the music producer? What was it in your childhood that influenced you? My grandmother, Grandma Lida, was my best friend. Uh And her best friend was Sophie Tucker. Now, for your younger audience members, they may not know that Sophie Tucker was called the last of the great hot mamas. She was as big as a house, Mm -hmm. and she could sing and bring the house down. Mm -hmm. And she would open for the Rat Pack. And and Jimmy Durante and and Marty Allen. Anyway, I spent my childhood in the Coconut Grove, the Moulin Rouge, many Las Vegas showrooms in Florida and different places, watching my grandmother's friend and the other entertainers. And that uh, was my first introduction to the world of entertainment. Isn't that incredible? It's so impressionable what you see and what you do at a young age really affects you as you get older. And somehow that becomes your life as you get older. And it seems that way. I mean, now people, well, like Tiger Woods, his father started teaching him at three years old how to play golf. And look what happened. Yes. And and now we have beautiful young children three years old that can sing a storm i mean it's incredible yes it is and and i love seeing those stories particularly if it's the child that's interested and someone else is just helping them out and not sort of pushing them to something but children when given the opportunity to follow what they are interested in wow they can just like a flower just open up and blossom that's right I agree with you, and I just love seeing that. I love it. And that is one of the positive things about Internet is that we get to see that where we were not able to before. I'm sure they were around, but we just couldn't see it. Yes, news is usually dark, so you have to really go out of your way to find good news. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I think, that, and I think the, uh, the, the Internet has its space for good news. You know, it does. It is. Yes, it does. It's got good and bad. And really, Pepper, everything in life has good and bad. Nothing is perfect. There's always a negative and a positive to thing that you do in life or something you react to or your relationships or, you know, you just have to be aware of it and deal with it and fix it. I'm very protective of my space, particularly at this time of my life. Yes. And I only want people around me that, well, whose eyes and mouth and heart are in sync, you know, that have good things to say. On social media, if I see someone that I've befriended on Facebook and they're saying ugly things, I unfriend them. I don't want that in my life. So I think that you can help control your environment to a certain extent. And then the things you can't control, try to react to them as best you can in a peaceful way. That's right. I I say to people, you know, adults or older children, a little bit of an encouragement towards someone can change their life forever. You know, my, my grandmother taught me when I was a child I could do anything I wanted. Yes. Any, anything I set my mind to, I could learn and I could accomplish. And if there's a teacher or a priest or a counselor or a policeman or, or a neighbor or anyone that can say something positive to someone and mean it and point out to that someone that goodness in them, whatever it is that they do well, that makes such a difference in their lives. Yes, that's right. That's absolutely right. It's all about the environment that you grew up in. That has a big influence on your life as an adult. Right, and then how you deal with it as an adult. Don't let it drag you down. That's right. You have to pick yourself up, and you have to take care of yourself and live your dream. And that's exactly the way it is. I've read that you grew up in Hollywood. You began performing at the age of five, and you were performing (laughs) in in local theaters and TV sitcoms, and you tap danced. And let's talk about that. That was cool. So when did all that begin? Well, it began at five. So how long did you do all this? Well, until I had to go to work for a living, I guess, (laughs) uh, as a school teacher. Uh, 
as a child, I enjoyed it. Yeah. There was the neighborhood park, park and recreations, and they would put on plays two or three times a year, and I was part of them. Uh, for me, being part of the park theater program and being on a TV sitcom like the Real McCoys or whatever it was, or being in a theater watching, you know, Dean Martin or someone, to me it was all the same. Yeah. As a child, it was just people entertaining other people and other people enjoying it. Yeah. So when I was on stage, it was a very, very natural thing for me. Oh, it was my turn. Okay. And uh, <laughs> it, was a, it was wonderful. I put some smile on my face just thinking on it. Oh, that is cool. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Check out the all-new Nadia Sahari Show. It's today's hottest new talk show and rated five stars on iTunes, featuring amazing guests and inspiring stories of today. All genres, all dreams, no limits. Visit the NadiaSahariShow.com and get the app for Apple and Android. Easy streaming and listening. Have a business? Why not become a sponsor of the show and take your brand to the next level? Email us at info at the NadiaSahariShow.com for our complete sponsor and advertising package deals. Let the show inspire you, motivate you, and educate you to your dream and to your success. Only on and always on the Nadia Sahari Show, the place where dreams really do come true. Okay, we're back with Pepper J. Talented. Uh Pepper J <laughs> had no idea that you did all of this. I'm very multitasker and do many things, and I think you've got me beat. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think it's a contest, my darling. <laughs> it's not a contest, but boy, oh, boy, I thought, well, I got to cut some things out here, but hey, I like what I'm doing. So now let's see. After graduating, uh, you became a teacher. I think it was 13 years, yes. Wow, that's great. So what did you teach? Oh, let me see. I, I taught English as a second language. Oh. I taught uh, history, law, physical education, uh, drama, health education. What else? Uh, Spanish I taught. And I coached the boys basketball team one year at <laughs> Hollywood High School. Incredible. And you also have a Juris Doctorate from the University of San Diego School of Law. <laughs> yes. Well, that was another hat I wore. I, I practiced <laughs> law for 32 years. What uh, was your practice? I was a litigation oh. attorney, and most of the time I spent it in federal court yes. dealing with uh, fraud and other uh, bankruptcy related issues mostly. Wow. Well, you know, I have a friend who is an attorney and he has his Juris Doctorate from University of San Diego School of Law. He, he's in Las Vegas, actually. Uh, I think he's retired as a lawyer now. In 1991, you formalized your inter entertainment company, Pepper J Productions which I'm familiar with, and... Right. So my production company was in full fling when we were in Hollywood. Yes. Here in Pahrump, it's pretty much uh, on a request basis. If someone will request us to help them with a film, uh -huh. we do. Our ranch is, uh, you may hear dogs barking or chickens in the background. Yeah. Our ranch <laughs> is also a, a movie set here. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we, we do that on request Sometimes we're asked to cover events or red carpets uh, for the Actors Report or the Side Beat Music Show. Some of the shows that still have slots on uh, TV channels. But mostly, mostly my time is spent producing music. That's that's my that's the hat that I'm wearing now. I won't say 24/7. The majority of my time. Yes. Now let's talk about your ranch. So you have okay. grandchildren, and you have your ranch, you have animals, you have, let's talk about that. You have a greenhouse, and your ranch is called Water Rock Ranch. Right. It's a lovely place. We just created for kids, and we share it with the youth ministries at the churches nearby and different things. And my grandkids come and visit once in a while, and, and uh, yeah, we love it. And, we love it. And you are music producer for your partner, your production partner, Singer, John Michael Ferrari. Yes. John yes. Michael Ferrari. Yes, please go visit his Reverb Nation page. Uh, what is it? www.reverbnation.com forward slash John Michael Ferrari. Now, I say that 
because, I mean, you can find him on YouTube and, you know, you can subscribe and all those good things and Facebook. I love all that. But if you go to the Reverb Nation page, you see the ones that I'm putting up that haven't been published yet. You see, I don't sell them. And then I can direct uh, publishers or, you know, people that represent artists and such uh, to particular songs on that page and they can experience it. And then, and then when they're taken, then I just take off the word unpublished. So, yes, go see what we're we're making music these days. Uh, John Michael Ferrari, please check it out. Yes, absolutely. He's doing fantastic. So, yes, it is. He just had uh, Singer-Songwriter of the Year from the Producer's Choice Award uh, Honors yeah. in 2019. And in 2020, the best, the best uh, song, Peace Song of the Year. So tell the audience how they can contact you or listen to or see what you're doing. Thanks, Nadia. Well, please visit my website, pepperj.com. Pepper like salt and pepper. My last name is J-A-Y. And that'll link you to my different social medias. And then if you'd like to see the music that is real current, that's not even picked up yet by anyone, uh, check out the Reverb Nation page uh, forward slash John Michael Ferrari. And thank you so much. Shani, for having me on your show. Well, you're welcome. That was my friend, Pepper J. What a beautiful soul, talented. She's incredible. Go to her website, check her out, see what she's doing, and go to Reverb Nation and listen to John Michael Ferrari. God bless you all, and don't forget to live your dream. Are you living your dream? Thanks for tuning in with Nadia and her guests. For more info, episodes, and connection, please visit our website, thenadiasaharishow.com. Share episodes with your friends. Follow us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Instagram, and most importantly, never give up. Live your dream. Latin Connection Magazine is a family magazine featuring people of influence, cultural events, and traditions, recipes and photos of Latin food, Hispanics and business. Plus, get news on Latin festivals, Latin entertainment, and Latinos in the fashion industry. And see photos of Latinos in action all over the U.S. Conoce tu vecino y mucho más. We invite you to share your special event with us at latinconnectionmag.com. Latin Connection Magazine. Conexión Latina y mucho más. Latin Connection Magazine. It's for anyone and everyone to enjoy, no matter who you are.